Hello again. My name is Diana Farnsworth. I'm a librarian here at Anacortes Public Library, and I just wanted to do a brief public service announcement that the National Theater is going to be showing their production of Frankenstein this week from Thursday to Thursday on YouTube. So it's absolutely free. Last week, if you watched my much longer, I promise this video is gonna be shorter, Shakespeare video talking about all of the great Shakespeare resources in celebration of Shakespeare's birthday, I mentioned that they have had a Shakespeare play this last week. Well, next week they're showing one of my all-time favorite productions of Frankenstein. And while I don't have as many books about Frankenstein as I do about Shakespeare, I did count at least 30 and then I gave up. But I wanted to highlight a couple things. So the first thing is the play that I talked to you about. I have the script here with me. So it was done in 2011 and it's starring Benedict Cumberbatch and Johnny Lee Miller. And they both play every other night. They alternate between playing the creature um, and Frankenstein, who is the doctor, Dr. Victor Frankenstein, and the creature, who is not Frankenstein. He's the creature and creation of Frankenstein, which is the only little bit of nerdy trivia that I'm going to give you, other than some resources, if you're curious about Frankenstein. I know some of you who are in high school end up reading the play, so the first thing I wanted to tell you, other than to watch the play, if you're interested, although it does have um, some adult themes, is that you can read Frankenstein on Hoopla or on Overdrive. It's available there, so you can read the classic book if you want to. If you are like me and you end up wanting to know a little bit more about it, you can read The Lady and Her Monsters, which is on Hoopla. I think it's an audiobook on there, so you can listen to it. And it's called A Tale of Dissections, Real Life Dr. Frankenstein's and the Creation of Mary Shelley's Masterpiece um, by Roseanne Montillo. And that's a really fun, just kind of a fun read. Gives you a little bit of background on Mary Shelley, who wrote basically the first sci-fi novel that I'm telling you about. Um, and then the other fun thing that is on Hoopla right now that you can stream is Frankenstein by Gris Grimley. So it's the original story, but as a graphic novel. It's kind of a hybrid. There are quite a few adaptations of Frankenstein um, on Hoopla available, but this is one of my favorites. Obviously, it's one I own, so I wanted to tell you about it. But if you are a fan of theater or Frankenstein, please check out the National Theater production. Um, thank you so much to our local theaters here. I know often you can go and see at the Lincoln Theater, you can go see Frankenstein. I think they usually have National Theater productions, and they do that one in October. Um, but everyone can now watch it live in their homes while we're here, which is such an amazing gift. And then of course, I would be remiss if I didn't say check out our very own community theaters, um, Quarantine Theater, which act posts every day, different actors perform for you. Um, maybe I'll do a Frankenstein one soon, I don't know. But um, please enjoy. Um, the one thing I also should mention is, this is my favorite version, it's a classic. Um, penguin cover I think these are and I know that you can get them as gifts they're really fun they do all sorts of classics this is the Frankenstein one obviously and I know that Watermark has them so if you need a fun gift for a bibliophile that is a great place to go during this quarantine so the library is so thrilled to be able to support and work with our local businesses and our theater and I hope that during this time you're able to maybe make some theater of your own read a classic you haven't thought of reading in a while or um Maybe get to see a fabulous production at one of my favorite theaters in London, absolutely free. And of course you can always donate to theaters if you wish. So thank you so much for indulging me in another one of my little geek outs and I miss you and hope that I see you in the library very soon and can tell you all about the latest classic I'm obsessed with. Or maybe hear what you thought of Frankenstein. Enjoy your week.